Hello and welcome back to my 2014 self-built Ford Transit Custom camper van conversion for what is probably going to be the final time because after two years trips to Scotland to the Lake District to Dorset I'm selling the van it's time to say goodbye to it I was up in the Lake District a couple of weeks ago had a couple of really nice days in Oldswater but what that did was made it quite clear in my mind that my requirements since originally building the van have changed and so I got back the very next day and went to Brown Hills Motorhomes in Newark had a look at a used van and bought it so this van is now for sale and it's up on eBay at time of uh, at time of making this video and uh, hopefully someone will like the work that I put into it and want to buy it but what did I go for let's find out so this is it welcome to my 2021 Eldis AutoQuest CV60 camper van it's about six months old I'm the second owner of it originally registered in May it's only got about two and a half thousand miles on the clock so it's still pretty new and barely even used why did I go for this one well as you can see I'm standing up nice and tall in it it's uh, quite a bit bigger than previously um, it's got heating it's got hot water it's got so many different things I'm not going to do a full van tour of it today because I'm still quite new to it myself I've only had it what, six hours something like that uh, so I'll do one when I'm a little bit more familiar and a little bit more comfortable with it but I will give you a very quick tour of uh, what's in it so here we go so starting off with the front sorry it's a bit dark it is past sunset now it is a Fiat Ducato 2021 model year um, it's relatively modern at least compared to my old van anyway it's got a tiny screen in it with sat nav which is nice as you can see it's got two seats in the front both of them are captain's chairs and swivel round which is quite nice and there is a little thing there where you can stick your table for eating so you just spin the seats around and that's where you will eat over on the right hand side we've got a microwave that is just a normal standard um, household microwave and it uses a three pin plug and only works when you're on electric hookup and then you've got a nice little area there where you can either stick your table if you don't want to bother getting the big table out over on this side you've got the kitchen area and a little kitchen extension um, there is a step to help you get in the van and that switches there and you've got a few drawers just down there there is a sink here which is nice and like I say it's got hot and cold water which is great and a three burner hob there which runs off gas and a gas oven and grill which is great just moving on to here there is a really big fridge I think it's 90 litres something like that and there is a freezer compartment just in there and then around the back of the van there is this nice big French bed there to be honest it's going to be me in the van most of the time on my own and so I probably don't even need to pull that out I can quite happily use it as it is but uh, on the odd occasion that the wife does come with me you can pull that out and lift it and make it into a nice double bed above the bed you've got uh, LED lighting and plenty of storage and the same goes for over on the right hand side as well where you've got a uh, nice vanity unit and some drawers there is a TV socket for people who still use TVs these days and don't stream things over their iPads 
all of the windows have got blinds and uh, fly screens as well, which is nice. And then one of the main reasons why I got this van was what is in here. And there is a Thetford toilet just down there. There is a sink. Um, you'll see that there's a shower curtain as well, which is cool. And that is because this tap for the sink comes out and then you can just hook it up there and then it acts as a proper shower which is really nice a couple of units above and toilet roll holder and all of that which is great and then just up here on what i'm sure to bang my head into about a million times while i own this van is the control panel for the hot water the heating the lights and all of that and a little status for the gas bottle which is all under the van which is brilliant so that's the new van uh, looking forward to getting away with it a lot more i think the flexibility of this one is definitely in the washroom facilities because that means that i don't need to find campsites anymore um, which is great it means i can use brit stops or park for nights or something like that and uh, just get away a little bit more and with the heater and the hot water uh, I'm not so limited to the seasons in which I can go away which is really really good it's gonna be a shame getting rid of the transit I've put a lot of time and effort into that and I'm quite proud of what I've done I've never done anything like that before but hopefully it will go to a new home who appreciates it a few things to do on this van uh, the leisure battery is really quite small and there isn't any solar panel just yet so i want to get solar panel and i definitely want to get a better leisure battery but uh, that's it i'll do a proper van tour at some point over the weekend and go into a little bit more detail on everything got any questions just drop me a note below uh, until then if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe if you want to see any more Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.